All right, it's about 8.35 in the morning, day 51. I cannot see them from the house, but see, look at that. They are no longer on the perch. <laughs> I wish I could tell if they were on the perch while I'm in the house with the binoculars, but it's dark enough that I can't. Look, look at them, they can see. So they're already up and at them. They still have a little food in there. Eventually I won't have that, but. All right, let's let you ladies out. I'm, gonna, I'm interested how fast they come out this time. Get over here. There they come. Good morning. Hello. Now if I could just get them to go up as easily. It's a little breezy, but the thermometer for inside the coop registers the same as the outside. So they started over here last night. Maybe they kind of creeped over and ended up there. Or someone did. <laughs> so this is the food that I have in here. And so it's getting lower and lower and lower. Last night I came out, I went into the run here and uh, I just tapped around inside that the feeder. Tap, 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 you know, with my finger. And eventually they all started eating. Some of them were already eating, but I was encouraging them to fill up. All right, I've had each one of the chicks on my lap this morning. I am teaching them that when I come out, you know, it's a good thing. Here is Spitfire. She's the last one to be on here. So what I do when I bring her up here is I put one hand here and I pet her with my other hand and then I gently just sort of Put a little pressure while I'm petting her and then she sits down. She's just sitting and so far she has not gotten back up. And because I had her on here for the amount of time that I wanted her on here, if she wants to get down at any point, I'm okay with that. But when I put them on my lap, I want them to stay on my lap until I'm ready for them to get down. But I want it to be sort of like that I'm, you know, I'm the, the top dog, so to speak. She's okay with this. <laughs> She's like, this is pretty comfy. Although she is watching the others eat. She might be thinking, they're going to eat it all. I will have none. That is not the case. You are certainly a lap chicken, aren't you? The ladies are having a little bit of lunch. Chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> really, this is it. Okay, so Phoenix is trying it. There we go. Now the others are like, wait a minute. Now she didn't seem to care for the honeydew melon. I don't blame her. It's out of season. What are you doing? 
She's going back. Now Miss Cloud's like, maybe. This is not food. There you go. That's food. It's about 6.15 p.m. Sunset is in around 30 minutes. Last night did freak them out a bit. I came out here and they were, it was dark. I could see and they could see me, but it, it still wasn't very bright. And they were like, where is she? But it was probably good that I put them to bed as they were feeling that way, because I'm hoping that means they realize when they start to feel a little fright, they just go upstairs. All right, get your last minute food, and then get your butts up here. The sunset is right now. All right, ladies, come on. Mm-hmm, just trying to get worried. Come up the ladder. They're all in there. Spitfire really wanted in, but I had to shine a light up here. And then I think it was Trinity that went in, and then I had to go get either Parkour Chick or Trinity, I don't remember. And uh, Miss Cloud was totally not even ready. She's like, I can just stay out here. Seriously? I'm trying to make a video. Quiet. Now they're quiet, so maybe they've settled down figured out their positions. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna take a real quick video of where they're situated. Maybe. Here we go. There they all are. Hello, ladies. Okay, good job. <laughs> 